Let's get a response now from Senator Mark Udall, a senior Democrat on the Senate Intelligence Committee. Senator, thank you for joining us this morning. You just heard Chairman Rogers uh, right there. He says he's not ready to sign on to this idea of sending the phone records, having them stay with private phone companies rather than having the federal government collect them. Your response? The uh, arguments for the status quo, George, fell apart this week in Washington. I do find it interesting that Chairman Rogers, who I respect and with whom I work, when the uh, presidential panel agrees with his point of view, he says it's a great panel. When he doesn't agree with it, he says, well, it's uh, manned by three law professors as if uh, those law professors don't have an understanding of the constitutionality of what we've been doing. I would point out that the uh, panel uh, was actually manned by people who are highly respected, who have deep experience in the world of intelligence and surveillance and national security. I get up every day, George, as a member of the Intelligence Com uh, Committee and the Armed Services Committee to do two things, protect the American people and protect the Bill of Rights. Uh, the NSA is overreached. Uh, we need to quickly move to adopt the 46 recommendations of the President's panel. All 46? And Judge Leon may, we, I, I think we need to look at all 46. Uh, I'm still studying the report myself, but there are many, many important reforms. It's time to have real reform, not a veneer of reform. You know why? Because we've got to rebuild the American people's trust in our intelligence community so we can be safe, so we can meet the threats that are all over the world. But we don't do that by bulk data collection that violates the privacy of Americans, that's unconstitutional, and is shown to not be effective. So you heard, you heard Chairman Rogers about the constitutionality as well. He says that, oh, what is it, 16 uh, other judges have said that the program is constitutional and have consistently approved it. Well, it'll wind its way through the courts, but it's hard for me to believe and it's hard for lots of Americans to believe with whom I talk that these general warrants, if you will, and orders to collect every day tens of millions of Americans' phone records is somehow constitutional. It doesn't fit the standard in the Fourth Amendment of unreasonable search and seizure. You have to have probable cause. By the way, these are innocent Americans, and I would uh, counter Chairman Rogers' point. This is an invasion of privacy. If you take the business records of every American, of all of our phone calls, you can get a pretty good idea of what people are doing based on when they call, who they call, from where they call. Even though the these panel has just... said that there was no abuse of this program. That, George, you're right. There, is, there has been no abuse, but the potential for abuse is always there, and Americans have always erred on the side of protecting our privacy. The heart of our belief in freedom is the freedom to be left alone, and it, part of that freedom to be left alone is privacy. How about this question of amnesty for Edward Snowden? I think that Edward Snowden ought to come back to the United States. He ought to stand on his own two feet. He ought to make his case. History will judge him in however way uh, historians uh, and the American people decide to make that call. But I'm focused on reforming in a fundamental set of ways the way in which the NSA operates. That's where our attention ought to be focused right now. So when you're saying he should come home, you think he should face charges? I do. I do. He, he broke his oath. He broke the law. Come home, make the case that somehow there was a, a higher purpose here. But uh, Edward Snowden ought to come back to the United States. Do you think any of that we would be having this debate if it weren't for his revelations? Well, that, that's a, a conundrum. That's an important question. You know, we have a lot of wilderness here in Colorado. I feel like Senator Wyden, I've been shouting from the wilderness for a number of years about the violations of Americans' privacy conducted by the NSA. Finally, uh, our point of view has been affirmed, and it's now time to really fundamentally reform the way in which the NSA operates. The President's panel made that very, very clear. And one year from now, will the federal government still be collecting Americans' phone records? If I have anything to say about it, no. We've got to end the bulk collection. We can still use metadata concepts, George, but when we need those phone records, the NSA ought to go to the court, ought to get an order, and then get those phone records. And by the way, I think those phone records ought to be held by a third party. Senator Udall, thanks very much for your time this morning. Have a good Christmas.